do your little thing, tell me when you roll it. Now I once heard it said, it don't matter where you're from, but how you come. Nigga, that's bullshit. I ain't never seen a motherfucker from the suburbs of Beverly Hills make it large in this rap game. Where you from determines how you come. Nigga, this is Compton. Now, there's been a lot of controversy about our beautiful city. About who from it and who ain't. About who used to be from it and who ain't from it now. All that's bullshit. Because if you were born and raised in our illustrious CPT, no matter where you go or where you end up, you coming straight out of Compton.
think he had his grass cut and water by 3 o'clock today. Today I'm not asleep, 2.45. I don't give a fuck if you got a bitch class, cut class, whatever the fuck you got to do to get my shit done, nigga. You understand me? Well, get the fuck to work. Because you done lost your goddamn mind. Now get the fuck to work. I'll get you my books away. Look like I give a fuck about you putting your books away. Did that felt like I gave a fuck about you putting your books away, huh, nigga? Huh? What's wrong? Ah, oh, bitch, take your ass back in the motherfucking uh, kitchen before I lay hands on your motherfucking ass, too. I'm handling this. Bitch, are you crazy? Are you out of your goddamn mind? Is everybody out of their fucking mind? I feel like everybody around this motherfucker is different except for me. I feel like I'm trapped in an episode of Planet of the Apes. Now what you need to do is go in the kitchen and fix me a sandwich. All I'm saying, John. <laughs> See, now that's your fault. Fucked around and made me go Ike on your ass. You thought I was playing, huh? I'm looking at the motherfucking expression on your face. And you thought I was playing. Why well, ain't playing? Now get the fuck up, go in the kitchen, and fix me something to eat. What do you mean? What do you mean? Why sandwich coming up? Bitch, you ain't scared nobody. Get get the fuck up. And if you come out of that motherfucker with some spam, I'm beating your motherfucking ass. After that, Hen's aunt came down from Louisiana to live with her. She was cool, but it was still hell for Hen, in and out of jail and trouble. Sometimes he would try to be a good kid, but for some reason, trouble knew exactly where to find him. Well, at least that's what he used to say. Swole, because 
all that time he spent in the joint, all those years in jail, the only thing it really taught him was how to be a better criminal. Oh, I could have did it without you, baby. Don't be getting on, bitch. Oh, like, fuck uh, you, punk. What'd you say, QK? Uh, nothing, ma'am. You want me to take you in here and wash your mouth out? No, ma'am. I tried to tell him, baby, but he won't Shut listen. Shut up. Did you go get me some bread like I told you to? Oh, man, I forgot. Well, I... get that thing and go get me some bread. He and did have a plan, a well thought out and well researched plan. But it was dangerous. See, it involved this businessman. Well, he wasn't really a businessman. What he did was launder money for the mob, drug dealers, crooked politicians, and anybody else who needs their money cleaned up. Now, the ironic part about this man, he was running for mayor in the next election, and he couldn't have his record torn. That was just it. This guy was so good at what he did, covering up his tracks so well, it would have been easy to implicate a baby born on Friday of a crime committed on Tuesday. Now, he figured the less people involved in this plan, the better. So he recruited Hunt, who over the years became Hans' boy, through Hans' manipulation and Hunt's weak mind. And Johnny, now Johnny is fine, understand me. I mean, the girl might as well change her name to Goddamn, because that's what everybody said when they saw her. So after they discussed the plan, it was time to figure out everyone's cut. Now, Hump was easy, and not Johnny. She was way more ambitious than that. So what's up, Johnny? That sounds like a great plan, but what do I get for it? I don't know what you think you're worth. I want to give you what you think you're worth. I don't think you can afford me. Come on, Johnny. <laughs> Come on, Ken. Fuck it. I see you came here to make some money today, huh? You came here to get paid, huh? Fuck it. Ten grand. Damn! <laughs> Ten grand? Right? What do you think I am, a crackhead? What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about, crackhead? Shh, homie. I don't know no smoke in the No shit. Look, just give me an executive position in your record company. Where, where, do you, where are you coming up with all this shit? What record company? Look, I already know about that. You and Kate have been talking about it since the 8th grade. Besides, I'm part of the master plan and I'm starting from ground level. Look, home, walk, just get somebody else. Okay, that's what we want to play? Go ahead. But you know what? You know what? I'm out of here. I see you guys at the Can you sit down, please? Do you gotta make a fucking scene in here? Well, I don't play games. I don't have time for this. Stupid. Please, please, please. 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 Is that so? I'll make sure you check that standing room. Huh, go get out and let us know when that nigga coming. Right, right. Hey, don't be fucking with my uncle's car. Nigga, get out. All right, let's go over this shit one more time. When you put this in this drink, you only got 15 minutes. By that time, you gotta have him outside because he'll pass out in there and it'll be over. It's a one shot. See, you bullshit. Okay, okay, what makes you think he's gonna be here anyway? Because I watched the motherfucker for two months. I know where he's gonna be. But why this secluded bar? Because I told you it's the only place he goes without a security. 
I guess it's one night out of a week he want to act like he's normal. Now, the only other thing that he does besides come here and make money is play golf, so use that for whatever it's worth. What made you pick this guy anyway? I was in one of them uh, little yuppie-ass coffee houses. Mm -hmm. And uh, these people behind me was talking about black people, right? What'd they say? Well, his big brother walked in and uh, the dude said, uh, damn, that's one big bubba. And then his buddy said, what's a big bubba? He goes, that's what I call all niggas. Right there, I said, oh, this is the one. Ever since then, I was like, dog, here he come. Oh, oh yeah, that's him. Okay. Now, hey, remember, don't make it look too easy. All right. But don't make the shit look too hard. You know okay. what I'm saying? But don't make the shit look like... Ken, what the fuck is wrong with you? I'm, I'm, I'm tweaking. I'm fucking tweaking. All right, all right. Damn. Handle your business. That's right. Nigga, get in. Shit, I'm stuck, huh? Get in. Fuck, I gotta lose weight.
better call a cab. Oh, nonsense. Let me take you home. Um, I don't know. Why not? I don't know you. You could be some kind of maniac or something. <laughs> Billy, come over here. Uh, I'm trying to give this lady a ride home, and she's not sure if I'm a maniac or not. Oh, um, Mr. Norelli here, he's a very well respected businessman. I wouldn't worry about it. You'd be in good hands. See? Well, okay. Great! You know what? Let me just go to the ladies' room and I'll be ready. No problem. No problem. question about it. I just need a minute to get myself together. Hello? Who the fuck is this? Me, Johnny. What happened? What's wrong? Tamika, she'll probably do it for a dub. Uh. <laughs> Crazy ass Ken. Uh-uh. What the fuck you want me to do to him, man? Take off your clothes. What's the problem, man? Don't 
Because when we can't get nobody else involved in this, dog. What the fuck could me take out my pros got to do with this shit, man? Look, man, can't you see? That shit would even work out better. Look, a marriage can survive a little extramarital affair. Motherfucker can probably still be mayor. Look at the president. But let a motherfucker have to explain what looks like a gay affair. He can't. I don't give a fuck what he say. Ain't nobody gonna believe him. Especially with some big, black, juicy motherfucker. What? Oh, man, ain't nobody calling you, bagging on you or nothing. You are big, black, and juicy, fool. Be proud. Now, homie, I'm proud to be big and shit, but you ain't gotta be saying juicy. Now, you know, fuck juicy. Fuck this shit, man. I ain't doing this shit, man. Look, man, we talking big money here. I'm sorry it ain't that easy. I came up with the plan to follow him for two months. Johnny did her thing. What have you done? fuck you want me to do then, man? Oh, no, homie, I'm just saying, you know, just, like, cuddle with the motherfucker. Cuddle? Oh, hell no! Hell no! Look, man, wow. look, dog, cuddle with a man ain't gonna make you gay, and if it does, you was already gay to begin with. Besides, ain't nobody gonna even see these pictures. He gonna make sure of that. He gonna damn sure make sure of it. Homie, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, hell no, homie. I can't see myself doing this. Hell no, no, no. Oh, no, no. Fuck that, man. Not no fucking man. Hell no. Shit. No, no. No. Come on, man. The motherfucker ain't gonna be out much longer, dog. Fuck you, man. Fuck you, man. Shit. Black fucker. This jam is all about the major time kid daddy and the major continental, even a 91 caddy. Pulling up on the block with a press of suit. And got a bunch of pretty girls that'll find them cute. Where do they hang? In all the major cities. Girls are always plot, plus their girls are always pretty. But in New York, they hang a 42nd and 11. And in their shoulder strap, boost the gas at 357. Going through the buses, getting them on the way, girls. Promising them diamonds and other time clothes. Often get their little ladies in the slick main coats. Whenever the girlies cross them out. They bust their throats, so in about a couple of months, I bet you be like me. But all I got to do is be your pimp daddy. What? Your pimp daddy. Your pimp daddy. Your pimp daddy. Cause all I got to do is be your pimp daddy. How to get the young girls. That's what it's for some conversation. Maybe they use a part of my This girl got some old ass shit. Color me bad. Look, man, I Damn, finally. Wow. How long is that? Girl, you got about three hours. That shit worked. Wow. How'd it go? Good, good. So far, so good. Did you get how to do it? What? Did I do what? Nothing, homie. She, she, she still has to sleep, dog. Man, fuck that, man. I heard that, man. Hell no, I heard that, man. Y'all motherfuckers set me up from the beginning, man. Y'all had this shit planned, man. That's fucked up, man. That's fucked up, homie. Bubba. What do you want? You know, I was looking at TV today. Do you know how far ahead you are in the polls? Shit, it look like you're gonna win by a landslide. Is that what this is about? Because whatever they're paying you, I'll pay you double. Oh, you see, then that's cool. It's cool to see that you're eager to give up money. Look, I'm gonna come to your house tonight. You're gonna come to my house. I'm not worried about coming to your house. Because if I ain't back at a certain place by a certain time, by the time you get up tomorrow morning to have your fucking Peel grapefruit and oatmeal, you'll be staring at yourself on the morning news. Four million. What? <clears throat> me, 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 me. Can you hear me now, motherfucker? Four million dollars. Have it tonight. Oh, 
Oh, that's, see, that's the shit right there. That was the shit. Remember this one? Yeah. Hell yeah. Back in the day, Vanguard? Remember it? Ain't great, nigga. Cool cow. Mr. Mitchell and shit. See, Johnny has no know nothing about that. See, her ass was Regina Cheney. She got dropped off at the gate and picked up at the gate. He screwed. You don't know nothing about that, nigga. You ain't you, nigga. Just because I wasn't racing to yell doesn't mean I'm not down. I ain't saying that. I know you down and all, but you still miss that game. Oh, and everything. What? On all the girl. Girl. Shit. Oh, dog. Remember oh, hiding the belt? Man, <laughs> That's because you used to always get your slow ass beat. Dang, you What's hide the belt? Hide the belt is when like 10 of us stand around a light pole, right? One of us go hide the belt. When he's done, the rest of them go look for it. And whoever find the belt first get to beat the shit out of everybody till they tag the light pole. Homie, BB Bridges. Oh, no, that was the shit, too. That was see, the shit, too. See, now, when you say something with your B, you'll get your ass beat until you say BB Bridges. Wait, let me get this straight. In the ghetto, you take each other's ass when you're mad, and you take each other's ass when you're free. I don't know. To me, it sounds like a bunch of people programmed to kick each other's ass for any reason they can think of. Dang, why you gotta be all psychological with this stuff? Yeah, what the fuck? What the fuck wrong with you, man? You said it be, dog. <laughs> fuck that, man. Fuck that, I'm a grown ass man. That shit ain't funny, man. Damn, this ain't ring around the fucking Rosie. Damn. <laughs> Guess I better get going. Remember, if I ain't back at the apartment in an hour, don't deviate from the plan. I'm telling you guys. Homie, if you don't come out, I'm coming in that motherfucker blasting. Look, dog, you can't do that, man. Man, you my nigga, man. I can't let you go out like that. I appreciate that, dog, but listen, man. The only thing that's going to save me if something go wrong is everybody sticking to the plan. You hear me? Huh? What? Do you hear me? Yeah, man, I hear you. Damn. Hey, Johnny. I don't want to hear it. You'll be back. Ken. Ken, are you busy? expecting you. He's upstairs. He said, go right on in. No, he did not. Introductions are in order. This is Bubba. Bubba, this is, well, I'm pretty sure you know who this is. Drake. Oh, come on, honey, don't be so modest. You're a what, four time Grammy winner? Hell, everybody knows you, girl. Who is this, Bubba? Come on, man, so we can get down with our business. Who is it? The young uh, lady. What'd I tell you? So, Bubba, what 
your real name anyway, so I can quit calling you Bubba. Bubba is fine. That's what you're going to call me when I walk out of here anyway. Bubba it is. Can I get you something? For what? The motherfucking poison? Look, man, I didn't come here to play to let's see who could be the most calm and sarcastic game. I came here to get paid. So either fucking pay me, kill me, or do whatever the fuck you're going to do. But by the time I leave out of here, I guarantee all my problems will be over. Ooh, the direct approach. Sam, bring in that case. So you're doing this for yourself? At first I thought it might be one of my competitors. But then when you asked for four million, I knew it wasn't. Because everybody knows I would have paid at least ten. Well, I only need four. Oh, an honest thief. So how do I know you won't be asking me for money every month? I guess you're just going to have to trust me, huh? Oh, yeah. I forgot. An honest thief. I'll tell you why you won't be asking me for money every month. You see, that was my fault. I wasn't on the ball. And I learned a $4 million lesson. But no more! You see, downstairs right now, they're taking your fingerprints off the doorknob. And in a few hours, I'm going to know who you are. And if you ask me for another dime, or if those pictures see the light of day, I will kill everything you love. Then, I'm going to kill you. And the only reason I don't kill you right now is because it's a lot easier to give you $4 million than it is to explain what I'm doing in bed with some big nigger. You know what? Come in, Sam. Here's the case. Give it to him. All this goes to him? Yeah. And you know why? Because he caught me slipping. How? Fuck how. It's too late now. Well, maybe if you told me how, I... If I tell you how, you'll look like a bigger fucking idiot. But I... It's your job to protect me, and you didn't. It's I... It's your job to protect me, and you didn't. Now, I'll talk to you about it later. Now, go. Put this out. Where's the ashtray? On your hand. You know how I hate to repeat myself. The other side, it hurts worse. Now go. go to. You know why I did all that? Oh, what? Fucking the superstar in front of you, treating her like shit, making my best guard put a cigar out on his hand. You know why? Because I just want to show you who you're fucking with. Welcome to the big leagues, Bubba. told you to answer the door. I thought you were him. Him? Huh? What's up, nigga? Oh, I thought I was about to come over here and make me a booty call. What? Oh, girl, you called me in the middle of the night talking about rush over right away. What the fuck am I supposed to think? Please. Homie, homie, we just waiting on him. Why? Where's him? <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, my God. Dog. Homie, is that it? Son! 
you know what the fuck, man? Shit, you know how excited I get. How much money is that? Four million dollars. Man, tell me nobody died for that and it don't have anything to do with drug dealers. Nigga, like you give a fuck. Oh, I give a fuck. It didn't. It didn't. After that, I knew it was only popping. Now, the first thing he did was set up a studio inside the garage. I'm not talking about a studio with lime wars and gas cans laying around. I'm talking about a studio with over $50,000 worth of outboard gear, the new Mackie DB8, MPC, and all kind of other gadgets. One day, I walked into the studio, and I got a real big surprise. Hey, what's up, Mr. Booty Call? Oh, you're not going to let me let that down, huh? Who are all these people? <laughs> uh -oh, what's up, my nigga? Motherfucking subway. Hey, I put that together for you like your ex. Oh, cool, man. cool. Yeah. yeah. I'll be right back, dog. All right. What's up, homie? Who are these people? It's our new crew. Our crew? We about to buy a ship or something? Don't act stupid, motherfucker. Well, why weren't we told about this? Look, Johnny, what you think? As long as they can follow orders. See? Where's Hump? I haven't seen him. All right. So how loyal are these boys? Man, they loyal to me, and I'm loyal to you. Cool, you know what I'm saying? Homie, homie, homie. Hey, what the fuck? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. So does anybody, hey, check this out. Does anybody have a problem working for me? Hell no. Hell no. Hell no. It's coming for like real. this, we got this. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? It's like yeah. this, man. Yeah, All right, check it good. out. Check it out. The name of the company you work for is Iron Hog Records. Iron Hog. That's two words that mean one. Iron. Strong. Hard. Everlasting. What about the hog, homie? The hog stands for the greed. Oh, shit. Iron hog. 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 That's what you do. Iron hog. 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 Motherfucker, what's wrong with you? <laughs> man, you know I'm just bullshitting, man. Are you trying to make me mad? No, <laughs> no, I ain't trying to make you mad. Motherfucker, listen to the question. Are you trying to make me mad? No, I'm not trying to make you mad. Apologize to the lady and I won't be mad. I'm very sorry. <laughs> Damn, man. I thought you wasn't going to be mad. Motherfucker, I'm not mad. If I was mad, I would have knocked you the fuck out. Now listen up! The next one of you motherfuckers who disrespect this lady, I'ma just shoot your ass. Period. Go ahead, Ian. <laughs> well, shit. I guess with that, we having a barbecue today at the park. We'll invite some of the uh, new rappers, so on and so forth, and some of the homies. So, let's go. Nigga, what that west side like? Oh, you didn't know from the armor you run for dudes to the phone line. But life, my niggas ain't playing no game. Fuck around in my hood and be a blood stain. So when you come through, better have no cat fire. Hey, come here, you gotta hear that. Let me finish this. Let me finish Hey, what's happening, big homie? What's up, homie? This is Tony. You gonna come audition next week? Oh, cool, cool. Yeah. See you next week. Good looking out, big homie. Right, Good looking you. out. Bye bye. Man, I thought we were supposed to be up here looking for talent. We are. Why are you over there shooting dice? Man, we can't act like we're above the homies. Should we still from the hood? Man, I hope you know what you're doing. 
Now, I told you we got to act regular. That's why I said don't go out buying no flashy shit. Don't go out buying no jewelry or none of that shit. This jam is all about the major time give daddy in the late continental, even a 91 caddy. Hang up on the... Cause all I got still was big your daddy How you get the young girls to split his music on the Man, what the fuck you doing? What? What? I'm talking about it's 90 fucking degrees out here and you roll up to this motherfucker look like some fucking distorted pimp. Oh, you like my jacket. Man, take that shit off. What? Man, I told your ass don't be going by a bunch of bullshit. Yo, all it's gonna do is get us investigated. Nigga, give me your money. Damn, nah, hell, fuck that. Give me your money right now, motherfucking huggy bear. Fuck you, look at this. Kick in, shut up. Bitch. Fucking fake ass Beretta extra. <laughs> Nigga, where the rest at? Where's... Oh. <laughs> I had to get something else, homie. Oh, oh, shit. What else did you buy, homie? I had to get a truck. What? What? <laughs> Nigga, I had to get a truck. You oh. know how to get my uncle back his car? Well, you know he's kind of right here. They're getting cars. Yeah, they're all right. All right, let's see the motherfucker. I checked it out. We gonna check it out later. Yeah, maybe. Oh, hell no, I want to see it right now. You can check it out later. Yo, Pimp Daddy. Yo, Pimp Daddy. Yo, Pimp Daddy. Cause all I got still was big. Yo, Pimp Daddy. How you get the young girls? This way, this means a conversation. Maybe they do for one of the positive. Is that a candy truck? Man, what the fuck is wrong with you? Are you on your fucking mind? Shit. Who the fuck is this? Uh, that's my nigga Wayne. Uh, everything cool, homie. They just tired as shit. Yeah, hook him up one of them chili chili cheese sandwiches, homie. Yeah. Let me holler at you. Come on. shit in my face and get your ass fucked up and to show you how gracious I am if you do decide to get fucked up homie I'm gonna pay your fucking doctor bill because now motherfucker from now on in Compton it's all about iron hog nigga and fuck iron hog
Put a plug at your mama say it was broke. What the fuck are you laughing at? Motherfuckers gonna try to charge me a hundred dollars to fix this shit. I can fix it my damn self. Which one is hot? How the fuck am I supposed to figure out which one is hot? Wanna be daddy's helper today? Well, come on over here. What I want you to do is be daddy's current tester. Put your hand right here, get grounded. Wet your fingers. And put it right here. Go ahead. Go ahead. Quit acting like a punk. We got the shit fixed, didn't we? After we auditioned hundreds of rappers, we found the one we wanted. And it was now time to do what everyone was waiting for. Shoot our first music video. Everybody's crying, but I think somebody's faking. Nobody's seen nothing. Nobody's heard nothing. Nigga, he's your ace gonna boom. You better tell me, sir. I saw fear in his eyes. And that's when I knew that this buster has got to die. Can't bear to see my mama grieving. The wrong to make it right, but the show gon' make us even. I gotta say a prayer for my bro. So I'ma call on the Lord above. Somebody's gonna pay for this shit. I put that on everything that I love. I put that on everything that I love. I put that on everything that I love. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. That's for my brother. Yeah. 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 Oh, right no shit. Everybody wants him, but he signed up with us. Now, I know you got paperwork on him, right? Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, Johnny, let's go. Okay, you know what? I'll talk to you later. All right. All right. Hey, homie. What's up? Hey, homie. Damn, look at that ass. Hmm. What's up, man? Shit, the hell if I know. <laughs> then what the fuck you tell me for? Quit looking at the ass. What you talking about? Oh, oh, oh. Damn, my bad, homie Trip. I was just listening to the radio. Drake lost the election. Oh, no shit? Yeah. Damn. What you gonna do? I don't know. But you know what? Fuck that shit. <laughs> if that motherfucker wanna raise up, let him bring it. As a matter of fact, let's go get with the homies right now. Let's handle this shit once and fucking for all. So you gonna be okay? Why wouldn't I be? There's something about her hand and her left today. You worry too much. Yeah, probably so. So what you about to do? Night, KK. Try and say this like the brothers. I got your bitch. Did I say that right? Well, anyway, say something, bitch. Ken. That's enough. You bring me my money. All four million. Tomorrow at 1 p.m. Where? I'll call you 20 minutes till. And Bubba, 
come alone. And if you try anything funny, you won't know the difference between this bitch and taco meat. Bye, monkey. They got Johnny. They got Johnny. Damn. Let's go, man. Oh, oh, fuck! Hen. Hen, what's up? Hen, what's going on? Hen! Hello? Hey, Mr. Norelli. I'm um, just kind of checking out the perimeter and making sure everything's locked up nice and tight for you. Okay? All right, Mr. Norelli. Bye. Man, fuck you! Hey, what? What? Nasty! Fuck you! What the? Fuck you guys! This neck! I was in his bed. So, are you gonna talk now? I started working for Mr. Norelli about 93, midsummer day. Uh, this little older cat. Glad you could make it, <laughs> Bubba. Johnny, a piece of ass worth four million? Wow. You okay? Yeah, I'm all right. I'd feel a lot better if I could kick this asshole in his balls. Ooh, it's spicy. Whatever, man. Here's your fucking money. Cut her down. You realize I'm gonna have to kill you. Now, see, I knew you was gonna say that. And you still came. You must be ready to die. Nah. Just gotta go to plan B on your ass. Plan B. Well, dare I ask, what's plan B? Don't ask me. Ask the home, home, home! Just got bitch slapped! That wasn't no bitch slap, dog. This is a bitch slap. What's the difference? You got a backhanded motherfucker for it to be a bitch slap. Oh! Now get the fuck out of here. Yes, yeah, And the only reason why I don't kill you is I don't need the mob on my back. Hey, Drake! Welcome to the big leagues, Bubba. Clay. Subway, Subway! Come back. Fuck that motherfucker. So, what we headed now, dog? Compton. <laughs>
Yeah, that's him. Look at him. You know you got the handle. Yo, I'm Ryan Combs. I play him. Oh, you done got your BMW, huh? Oh, you ain't. 740. He ain't bullshit. Look at you now, big Let me check out the car. Let me check out the car. What, what year is this, sir? That's what it look like in the inside. What, what look like in the inside? What year is this? <laughs> you can answer the question. What you say? What's the I see. The application. What, 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 what? This is 2000, huh? 2000, dog. I hope y'all enjoyed the movie. Um, I directed it. Uh, we all put it down like a motherfucker. Late nights, uh, the whole nine, put it down and just represent. Don't play. Player haters, play. Hey, yeah, you nigga. <laughs> don't be, don't start player hating. Hey, it wasn't no big budget thing, but we put it down anyway. Anybody can do it. So hey, we ain't trying to say, it, like, we recreated the wheel and shit. So uh, just don't play or hate. Represent when you have something. We represent for you, too. Just right. get right. It wasn't no goal with the win or nothing. We all connected. It was a hood movie, dog. It was a hood movie. This guy, we in Compton right now. Represent, huh? Without the West. Same place we were when we uh, shot the movie. Compton. Yeah, yeah all we were right last time. I was sitting on the porch waiting on you, dog. Uh, <laughs> so where's the rag at? Go and bring the rag back and hit him some titanium on his head. I wish I had that motherfucker. Don't even flame him up. That was my homeboy Pooh Car, uh, low rider in the booth. Yeah, big Pooh. Pooh yeah. locked down right now, dog. Yeah, Pooh locked down. He caught up and all right, caught, but... he caught up and so he done done something wrong. So they say. But he'll be back though. But, but everybody, but a whole lot of people say. Yeah. He'll be back though. Be yeah, watch out. We're we kicking the stride here in the streets. I went and got them skirts. I got the skirts for $130 that come on the swap pay. Got it. So good. That's how we're doing it, Cotton, but we make deals. Some of the, some right. of the best deals are made right here on the That's street. Right. Yeah, my name is Jules Dupree. I play KK in the movie straight out of Compton, but what you just got through watching. You know, that's my first time really behind the camera, so, you know, uh, First time I took one, take two, take three, take three, take four, take five, take six, many takes. But you know, I finally got it down back, finished the movie. And you know, uh, right here, this, this is where I stand. This is where we filmed the movie at right here. This is how we really kick it. I don't know if you remember him right here. He played the part, uh, tell him what part you played, dog. Oh, security right dog. Man. Yeah, he was, uh, right for security. he was with that nigga from the other side. What was his yeah. name? Uh, Big Willie. Yeah, Big Willie. He, he was with his ass and shit. We're all homeboys, we're all from Compton. Everybody in the whole movie is, is basically from Compton. Compton! We put it down like that, you know. That's right. And a lot of it was their first time really behind the camera. And uh So we had to you know, so we, we did what we had to do. You so know, we a lot of them, all of them. Well basically <laughs> all of them. But we came from the belt and did the best we can. So you know, hey, that's how we did it. What you think? You think we did a good job, homie? Hell of a job. Hell of a job. Made that shit happen. That's my nigga Subway right here. I'm Tony Cox, I play Subway. You know, you see my little scene. It's me jumping off the balcony. What's that in your hand, dog? You know what I'm saying? What is that? This bitch last night. <laughs> <laughs> she, she didn't want to leave her panties, so she left me in weed. <laughs> Unbelievable, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> it's Compton. Cars got weeds. Straight <laughs> weed up. That one blew off on the way from Pomona Swap Me. That's how we coming in 2000. We coming in 2000 with weaves on the antenna yeah, of the car. One. This ain't got nothing on that little jack thing, the jack in the box thing, the Union 76 bar right God, here. Uh, this, this is it this right here. Compton shit. This we came it. out with this shit. We got a patent on it, so don't try to steal it. And this, this ain't ghetto right here. This, this is ain't ghetto. I, this I guarantee is, you, they go to, you know, somebody gonna try to patent this. This is weed 2000. Out. Yeah, you gotta hit the stash. These niggas sit. Don't be killing on my ass. Ah. Got the XO. See, you can't have no. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. You know, again. Thank you, God. Yeah, we we right there, right here, dog. That's what we're talking about right here. Iron Hawks. Iron, Iron Hawks. Hawks. What's your picture? That's what saying. we're talking about. What they say down there, straight out of where? Straight out of Compton. That's right. That's right. That's we all worked hard for this one. You know what I'm saying? Oh, he was, you know he was uh, acting when he said the part about he had to study, study for finals and shit. <laughs> ah, there you go. You, you know. Got. You know. Yeah, we're right here in Compton, right here. Show him that little Compton. clip, Ryan, of, of, of this nigga talking about, I got to study for finals, I can't go. Go to the store with me. All right, I can't. I, I got to study for these last finals.
Come on, now. Boulevard. What you, got, what you got in there, dog? Oh, ain't nothing but the battery charge. I had to fry the homie's batteries up so he can get the switch. Gotta be quiet, Mike. You all in the background. Right, you fucking this up. Yelling. You fry the batteries and shit. You all right? <laughs> Go. Action! Well, I got you covered, dog. Get your ass back over there. At the park. <laughs> well, you, uh, well, we be on so one on your ass. Get some real we get some shit, real though. footage on your ass. <laughs> what did she girl say, Mike? You know she talking about they just using you. <laughs> you know she know she think y'all just using they got, me. They got mad at Big Mike because he drove to Vegas. Hi, I'm Donnie Diorenzo, and I play Donnie in Straight Outta Compton, and I'm the producer also. Hopefully you guys like our movie, and hopefully next time we'll be able to bring you uh, more girls, and uh, maybe a little porn there here. No, I'm just looking. <laughs> um, you know, more action, and um, we had a lot of fun, and uh, I want to thank everybody that was in the movie, and chilling in Vegas. I'm just chilling in Vegas where it's raining. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm getting real cold. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for the shop. This is just for the shop. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope next time we can do it when there's some sun out. <laughs> we got to say her name, say her name. You know how that go. Say who name, say who name. Their name, their name, their name over here right Mark, there. Mark, you hook me up a month like though. I'm gonna go to the right now, man. He's gonna go to the right Hey, Mark, turn around and introduce yourself, man. Million you motherfuckers watching. No, who's that? Hey, I'm Fire Mobile, man. Hey, I'm Mark, you know what I'm saying? Putting it down and uh, in your bartending for these brothers. They don't know nothing about these new kind of drinks. That That's it. Hey, put the camera in there. Hey, bro, you see Strata Cup? They don't know nothing about the metal cups. Man, I checked that. Um, movie. That obviously are watching right now. It's a great movie. Love all my co-stars. Brian Combs, Johnny DiRenzo, 
big hump, big jewels, big everybody, big ups to everybody. You know, all my guys I'm working with, we got, we got another straight out of Compton coming, we got Black Beaches, we got every damn thing, we got it all, money fast, cause diamond ring champagne. Well, we got it.
Me and my dude, man, you know, what's up? He was coming out here to put, put the stump down, man, but uh, somebody had to go. Oh, 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 baby, I'll be right back. That's, that's old Janky. Wait a minute, who has to go? It's Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, dog? There he is. Oh, right there. Big dog, I'm gonna tell you, one of the reasons why we gotta do this is because I'm not sure, but we just might not win the Oscar. Nah, so, nah. we got to accept our Academy Awards and thank who we going to thank right yeah, here and right now. Period. So, I want to ask you, what, what, what you think about uh, Omar Bradley? You know, he coming straight out of Compton, too, now. That's the mayor of Compton. Yeah, that's my dog. Omar, cool, man. I mean, you, you, my whole thing on the, the Omar thing, you fuck with the bull, you get the horse. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so uh, much, leave that man much. alone. And, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he ain't no boss, you know what uh, I'm saying? He ain't going to sit up and, like, you know, Because, you know, down, he, you he know. end up making the whole police force, you know, just lose the whole police force, bring sheriff in. I know he'll do something like that. Oh, he already did that. <laughs> yeah, really, uh, <laughs> yeah. You got that front size right there. Yeah, you ain't got no numbers on your phone. Look. <laughs> hey, you got to be an OG, period. This is a Movado phone, dog. Instead of Movado, don't have no numbers on the watch. Wait, let me say it. No phone. No numbers on the phone. What we got in the refrigerator around this motherfucker? I got a salad. Now, let me check out the refrigerator. What, what's that here? Salad and water, baby. Salad? Salad and water. What, what, what that make you what? Oh, man. Where the beer at? Ain't no beer here? Oh, she a little road. Yeah. <laughs> Where the beer at? Little road, dog. Man. I said, I, what was that? What video was that with uh? We got long distance calls blocked from his phone, dog. We can't, I, I, I can't even call. Hey, oh, we got to cut up out this one. Hey, hey, what video was that? The phone company got him on punishment, dog. They fucked up his life. Hey, look, he, he on a phone parole. <laughs> <laughs> Like fuck the neighbors. <laughs> I heard. I heard. I heard. Can you hear something about this? I heard we was doing good sales in Europe. <laughs> uh -huh, look at her. Look at her. Find out. That's all I ask is find out <laughs> I mean, if that's true. Europe. Right. It's going down. In, it's going down Europe. overseas. You know, it's, overseas. it's always best to start overseas then come on back into the United States. <laughs> we want to get their shit first, then come back and rise from up in the United States. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> That's why I got this. Where do you think I got this from right here? You see this right here? Uh, I was over there in Africa with the Zulu tribe. You know what I mean? This is, this is what they gave me. This is what they gave me right here. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, From now on, in Compton, it's all about Iron Hog, nigga. Fuck Iron Hog. Me and Jack.